2021 Honda Ridgeline versus the 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Which is the best mid-sized pickup truck? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Car Help Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. Although full-size pickup trucks like the Ford F-150, Ram 1500, Chevy Silverado, and GMC Sierra are the most popular choices in the truck market, not everybody needs a massive full-size pickup to get the job done. These trucks have gotten so massive and excessive to the point where the slightly smaller mid-sized options are really all the truck that a lot of people need. The Honda Ridgeline and Toyota Tacoma are two of the best options for those looking for a durable, well-built, mid-sized pickup truck. Both of these trucks have amazing reputations when it comes to long-term reliability and build quality. But which of these two is the best mid-sized pickup truck? Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because that's what we're going to find out. The Honda Ridgeline is kind of like the Swiss army knife of pickup trucks. It only comes one way and it's built to do just about everything really well. Because of its unibody construction and fully independent front and rear suspension, the Ridgeline is often called the car of pickup trucks because it's just so comfortable, refined, and easy to drive on a daily basis. The Ridgeline shares a platform with the Pilot Honda's three-row crossover SUV, and the two models often get criticized for looking a bit too similar. That's something that Honda has fixed with the refreshed 2021 model, which receives a brand new front-end design. The updated look is far bolder and better looking than before and it especially looks good if you go for the optional Honda development package which gets you black over fenders, a fully blacked out grille, HPD graphics on the bed walls, and cool looking bronze wheels. The available black edition remains the top of the line model giving you a fully blacked out look which is also really cool. Because of its car based platform the Ridgeline can't tow nearly as much as competing pickup trucks but it can still tow up to a very reasonable 5,000 pounds which let's face it is more than enough for most people's needs. If all you need to do is occasionally tow say a trailer between 2 and 3,000 pounds then the Ridgeline is more than enough pickup truck for you. It also comes with a very reasonable payload rating of around 1600 pounds which is right in line with competing mid-sized trucks and even a lot more than you get with the competing Tacoma with the V6 engine. The Ridgeline's 5.3 foot bed is actually a really useful size and because it has 50 inches of width between the wheel wells you can actually fit a 4x8 sheet of plywood completely flat on the bed which is extremely useful. Other valuable features include an extra large lockable weather tight trunk beneath the bed and a multifunction tailgate. The Ridgeline only comes one way in a double cab 5.3 foot bed configuration and it's actually a really nice sized package with a surprising amount of space on the inside. The back seat area is huge and you can even fold up the back seats giving you tons of space. You can even fit a full sized bicycle. The cabin has a nice airy feel to it and the front seats are very comfortable and spacious as well. The fit and finish of the materials used throughout are excellent and all of the controls are very straightforward and easy to use. Honda has upgraded the Ridgeline's infotainment system for 2021. You now get an 8 inch touchscreen with updated graphics and a proper volume knob. The touchscreen also includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. The Ridgeline's sole drivetrain consists of a 3.5 liter V6 engine with 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. It comes matched to a smooth shifting 9-speed automatic transmission and standard 4-wheel drive. The V6 engine is smooth, quiet and has just enough power to get the job done. It also has surprisingly good fuel economy, easily able to achieve between 25 to 30 miles per gallon without any issues. And because of the Ridgeline's unibody construction and independent suspension, it drives with a refinement and smoothness that you just don't get with any other pickup truck. If you're looking for a truck that's easy and comfortable to use on a daily basis, this is definitely one to have. Compared to the Ridgeline, the Toyota Tacoma is definitely more of a quote-unquote proper pickup truck. Its body on frame build configuration with solid axles and leaf spring suspension is definitely more in keeping with the traditional truck formula. It also gives you a lot more configurability and different options when compared to the Ridgeline which only comes one way. With the Tacoma you have options between either a 5 foot bed or a 6 foot bed, smaller access cab or a full double cab configuration. You also have different drivetrains including the choice between rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. If you don't plan to do much towing and all you need is a simple durable pickup truck with payload capability then the version to go with is probably the basic 4 cylinder access cab version with rear wheel drive. 
The base 2.7 liter four cylinder is a bulletproof engine that can last an extremely long time without having any serious issues. The four cylinder doesn't have very much power, but it does get a much better payload rating of around 1600 pounds versus only around 1100 pounds in the V6 models. If you plan to do regular towing though, then you're definitely going to want to go with the optional 3.5 liter V6 engine, which is rated to tow around 6,500 pounds. The V6 makes around 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque, which is similar to the numbers that you get from the Honda Ridgeline. But unfortunately, the Tacoma doesn't get as good fuel economy, and it's only rated for around 20 to 23 miles per gallon, partly due to the fact that it uses a 6-speed automatic transmission versus the 9-speed that you get in the Ridgeline. On top of the available six-speed automatic, the Tacoma also offers the option of a six-speed manual gearbox for those who want it. Compared to the Ridgeline, the Tacoma definitely feels like a more traditional pickup truck with a rougher ride and a smaller, less comfortable interior. Even if you go with the double cab model, there isn't anywhere near as much space as you get with the Ridgeline. All of the materials and controls are far more basic and utilitarian feeling as well. The Tacoma does, however, get an updated infotainment system with an available 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Tacoma also comes with various active safety features as part of Toyota Safety Sense, similar to the Ridgeline's Honda Sensing active safety technology. Although the Tacoma isn't as comfortable to drive as the Ridgeline, it does feel like more of a proper pickup truck and even offers the option of available TRD off-road models that give you true off-road capability, which is something that you don't get with the Ridgeline. If you're looking for a more traditional pickup truck that prioritizes things like towing capability and you plan to do a certain amount of off-roading once in a while, then the Tacoma is the obvious choice. It is an extremely well-built pickup truck and it has one of the best reputations when it comes to build quality and long-term reliability. Its amazing reputation and desirability also give it one of the best resale values on the car market, which means that you're going to get a lot of money back on the back end if you decide to sell it a few years or even several years down the road. Although these are both exceptionally good pickup trucks and both are options that I often recommend to my clients, if I had to pick one, I would still go with the Honda Ridgeline. It's just such a well-rounded truck that does just about everything well with a comfortable ride, spacious interior, and a really useful usable bed with good towing and payload capability. It also has an amazing reputation for reliability and build quality and has an extremely strong resale value as well. It's an exceptionally well-designed pickup truck and one of the easiest ones to recommend. Let me know what you think about the Honda Ridgeline or Toyota Tacoma and if you want to share any suggestions for future car comparisons or car reviews just leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you need any additional car advice, recommendations or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase check out carhelpcanada.com. Their team of experts would be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.